Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about postpartum. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Jill. I have a two months old baby girl named Alea. I make mommy beauty lifestyle video and I upload every Tuesday and Friday. So without further ado, let's go to the video. So yeah, I had my baby last February 2nd and right now I'm 10 weeks postpartum. So I think I know what I need to be able to survive the postpartum stage. Right now, I feel a lot better. Um, I think the stitch is completely healed. But um, every time I sneeze and cough, I can I still feel that there's a slight pain inside. So I'm still recovering from from the birth of my child. I just want to share with you my tips and the things that I use for postpartum. Yeah, the first thing that you need to know about postpartum is you're gonna bleed for weeks. I used um, adult diaper. I don't know, I just feel like this is more secure. You're not gonna bleed like a tons. You can you can get through with um, with um, uh, ordinary pads. But I, I wanted to use um, uh, a lot diaper for comfort. You can't wear tampons because it's gonna um, irritate the uh, your vagina part. And you can't wear um, a tight underwear because it's, it hurts. Trust me when I say it hurts because I tried it and it's not, it's not a good idea. I bought this three packs, uh, no, it's a six pack of underwear at Walmart. And it's just $7, I think. So you need to invest on these, like they said that granny panties for comfort. Um, yeah, the second, the second thing that you need to know about postpartum is if you're like me, my my chi chi got swollen and it hurts so you need um you need you need this fax pad um which hazel is a medicated pad you need this one dermoplast for the pain and for the itchiness and stuff like that and you need um tylenol because it hurts you need to round the clock. If you're like me, I'm allergic to Motrin. So Tylenol is my go-to pain medication. So you, you just need to um, put the tax pads layer on your um, pads. This, this thing right here really helps. And after you pee, um, put water in the squirt bottle and warm water. And then if you're gonna change your um, pads with the new one, place the tax pad on top of the, the pad and then you're good to go. Third one is it hurts when it pee, when you pee. Uh, in my in my case I had an epidural and then I asked my doctor about it and she said Maybe because the insertion and the removal of the catheter, that's why um, it hurts. It's, it's, it's my first time to have a catheter. So the squirt bottle, the, um, it's not here, it's in the bathroom. Um, the squirt bottle that uh, the hospital is gonna give you, just put um, warm water on it, and then you can use it after you pee, and it will ease the pain. Um, you can't you can't do anything about it it hurts but um just all you can do is make it a little bit easier less pain so it's 
squirt bottle with warm water, tax pad, and dermal test. That's all you can do. Number four, well, after you after you give birth, maybe weeks, maybe four weeks, I think. If you have a, a stitch like me, if it starts to heal, it's gonna be itchy. Don't scratch it because it's um it's gonna get worse and it's gonna take a long time to heal again. So just use the tax pad again to like ease the itchiness and stuff like that. This thing works. So you need this. The hospital gave me the other one, the other brand. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. This is it's not a tax pad, but uh which hazel as well. I just got this one at Walmart. The fifth thing about postpartum is you're gonna have uh, your contractions, like especially when you're breastfeeding. Yeah, you're gonna feel like your 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 uterus is, is contracting. I, I can't explain, but there's like pain. But I think it's a way that your uterus is going back to. Um, the original shape or the original size so I think it's a it's a good thing if it's if you're attracting number six is your breast will be sore and leakage so my milk came in three days after I gave birth so I didn't use the nursing pads in the hospital you need nursing pads and nipple cream if you're planning to breastfeed even if you don't breastfeed you're still gonna so you need this i had clogged duct on my left breast and my ob said sure that your baby is latching correctly and i earned the shower just massage your breast in a circle circular motion in um, warm water it will help or you can put a hot compress on your um, breast so the milk will flow. Number seven, you're gonna get hemorrhoids. It's not cute, but that's the reality. For pu from pushing the baby out, you're gonna get hemorrhoids. So, tax pad again and hemorrhoid cream. It helps a lot. And don't use toilet paper. These wipes it will help. Number eight, it's scary to poop. Yep, it's scary because your hormones is still all over the place. So you might get um, constipated and stuff. You need this one, laxatives. Laxatives, drink a lot of water, uh, eat your fiber. That's it. Um, Here is my postpartum kit. I have Tylenol, tummy butter for the stretch marks, Thermoplast, stool softener, tax pad, panty liners, regular pads, breast pads, big underwears, hemorrhoid cream, Nipple cream, hair tie, wipes, adult diaper, and I just put it in the this basket right here. I hope this video helps you. Comment down below if I'm missing something. So that's it for my postpartum. I'll give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Consider subscribing to my channel. Comment down below to be featured on my um, comment of the day. Salamat at mahal ko kayo and I'll see you in my next video.